Salesforce developer and web developer are two of the most in demand skill sets both in terms of growth and income potential and therefore a lot of people especially freshers are confused which career path they should choose whether they should go with Salesforce developer or web developer so if you are in the same situation this video is a must watch for you it will not only provide insights into both the roles but also offer much needed clarity so without further delay let's get started First, let's start by understanding about both the roles. A web developer is a professional who builds and maintains websites and web applications. They use different programming languages, frameworks and libraries to create the layout, style and functionality of a website. There are mainly three types of web developers, front-end developers, back-end developers and full-stack developers. So, let's understand who they are one by one. First, front-end developers. Front-end developers focus on the user-facing side of a website like the design, layout and functionality of of the pages that the visitors see and interact with. They use HTML, CSS and JavaScript to create and implement the visual elements of the website. Second, backend developers. Backend developers focus on the server side of a website like the database, programming and the other technical aspects that make the website work behind the scenes. They use programming languages like Python, PHP and Java to develop and maintain the website's infrastructure. And lastly, we have full stack developers. Full stack developers have the skills and experience to work on both the front end and back end of a website. They are able to build and maintain a complete website from the ground up. Now let's take a simple example to understand these roles. When you are visiting a website like Amazon, you are interacting with the front end of the website. You can see the products listing, add items to the cart and check out. The front end developer is responsible for creating the user experience. When you click on a product listing, Amazon sends a request to the back end of the website. The back end developer is now responsible for processing this request, retrieving the product information from the database and sending it back to the front end. Back end developer is also responsible for handling other tasks like processing payments and shipping orders. Now, full stack developers are able to work on both the front end and back end of a website. This gives them a deep understanding of how the entire system works and it makes them very valuable member of a web development team. I hope so far you got the clarity of what basically web development is all about. And now let's understand about the role of a Salesforce developer. A Salesforce developer is responsible for building and maintaining custom apps applications on the Salesforce platform. Imagine a company has a lot of customers and it's hard to keep track of all of their information and interactions. That's where Salesforce come in picture. Salesforce is like a special software that helps companies manage their customer relationships. And Salesforce developer is like a builder who creates that custom application on the Salesforce platform. These applications help companies organize and manage their customer data, track sales and provide better customer services. They use variety of programming languages and technologies like Apex, SOQL, LW WC and etc to build custom applications on the Salesforce platform. If you want to know the proper roadmap to become a Salesforce developer, you can check out this video on our channel. Now, as a Salesforce developer, you typically use a combination of code and Salesforce no code tools to build the application. This allows you to solve some requirements without coding, which means you end up writing less repetitive or boilerplate code. As a Salesforce developer, you need to have a good understanding of the Salesforce platform and its various tools. Let's take a simple example to understand what exactly does a Salesforce developer do? Imagine someone is running a restaurant and they want to use Salesforce to help them manage their customers and orders. Now, as a Salesforce developer, you can help them build a custom application that meets this specific requirement. For example, you can build an application that allows them to create and manage customer profiles, track customer orders, send automated marketing emails to customers, generate reports on customer data and whatnot. I hope till this point, you are clear about both the job roles. Now, let's understand how can you make the right decision. See, what Whatever role you choose, it should align with your interest, skill and career goals. It is very important. But in order to make a right decision, I would suggest you to ask all these five questions to yourself. First, what kind of work environment are you looking for? Salesforce developers often work in consulting firms or in-house Salesforce development teams. Web developers can work in a wider variety of settings like web development agencies, software companies and in-house web application team. Second question, which technologies are you most interested in learning? Salesforce developers need to be proficient in Apex, SOQL and Lightning Web Components. On the other hand, web developers need to be proficient in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and other programming languages like PHP, Python or Ruby on Rails. Now third question, what are your future career goals? Salesforce developers 
typically have a career path as a Salesforce architect, Salesforce consultant, or Salesforce solution engineer. Web developers can have a variety of career paths like front end developer, back end developer, or a full stack developer. Fourth question How much time and money are you willing to invest in your education? Salesforce development can be easier to learn than web development, but it is still important to have a strong foundation in programming concepts. There are many resources available to help beginners learn both web development and Salesforce development. To learn Salesforce development, you can check out our premium Salesforce development course plan available on YouTube for free. Fifth, last question to ask is, what kind of impact do you want to have on the world? Salesforce developers help businesses manage their customer relationships and improve their sales and marketing processes. Web developers help businesses create websites and web application that inform, engage and connect with their customers. If you ask about my personal opinion, so in my opinion, I've been in touch with both Salesforce developers and web developers and as a Salesforce developer myself, from what I can see, a significant difference lies in the pace of career growth, particularly in India when comparing web developers to Salesforce developers. Both fields start with similar pay, but after just two to three years of experience, Salesforce developers can begin to earn a substantially higher income compared to web developers. So, if someone were to ask me which career path they should pursue, I would always recommend Salesforce developer. However, it is worth noting that this is my personal choice. You should definitely need to do your research, see where your interest lies, and then decide which one suits you the best. I hope this video gave you much clarity and understanding but if you still have any question, feel free to drop them in the comment section and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Salesforce Hulk for more insightful content. Thank you for watching.